Okay, here's a here's a minor update on the uh, traffic citation that Ruby Frankie received on August 25th, which would have been, I think, five days before she was arrested for um, the severe child abuse charges. So. Frankie was charged with speeding going 50 in a 35 zone in Ivins, Utah. Happened on October, rather on August 25th. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I've now got the love. Um, Amy spends most of the time just like doing some commentary on this bullshit. But um, I just want to get to that one clip. All right. She basically got a speeding ticket before she was arrested. The six counts of child abuse, which she's being charged for. So keeping all this in mind, she then went on on the 18th. She then appeared in court and she pleaded not guilty to going 50 miles an hour in a 35 mile an hour zone. Now we were the 18th of what month are we? Um, we talking about October? We talking about September? Because my understanding is that she was ticketed on August 25th, right? Talking about this yesterday, and I was reading it out because not everyone had heard about it. I thought it was kind of common knowledge. I was just a bit late covering it. Um, and I thought it was really interesting to note because yesterday, the 14th of November, November 14th, was when she was scheduled and she did actually go in to find out more about what's going to be happening with the speeding ticket. I did have a couple of people who were saying, like, this is so minor, like, everyone gets in trouble for speeding, and everyone, like, this is such a, like, such a stupid thing to talk about, but, 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 like, everyone, like, so many people do this, this isn't news, and I'm like, yeah, but not everyone's Ruby Frankie, not everyone is being done, like, is going to be done, or is being done, or is being charged with six... Well, and everybody who gets a speeding ticket actually has to make their appearance, pay their fine and take a uh, traffic court to get the point off their record. Counts of child abuse. It's Ruby Frankie we talked about. Like this isn't just some random Joe off the street. Like are we are we talking about are we talking about the same video, do you know what I mean? So I do think it is important to note because yesterday I was like, well, they're obviously not wanting to drop it. They're obviously, you know, wanting to wanting to keep the standard. They're still wanting to pursue it. I did think it was absolutely ridiculous how and how Ruby Frankie um was even denying it is saying not guilty and if you 50 in a 35 uh i'm not sure if it's 15 or if it's 20 miles over the speed limit that it considers uh, that it gets a higher charge of reckless driving i'm not positive about this people in my comment section were saying well maybe maybe it is because um it's because she's just trying to like delay proceedings or whatever but then the other side of me is like well this is traffic court this isn't criminal court so i don't know i just don't think she thinks that she's ever in the wrong now we have actually got the results it's like a test result we actually do have uh, a result of what happened yesterday and this was not what i was expecting actually and i'm sure this isn't what you guys would have been expecting either maybe some of you would but i definitely did not frankie was charged with speeding going 50 in a 35 zone in ivans utah happened on october rather on august 25th her arrest in ivans with jody hildebrand took place a few days later on august 30th Frankie entered a not guilty plea on September 18th pertaining to the traffic violation. So yesterday it says during the hearing, the city of Ivins asked the judge to dismiss the speeding charge given the nature of the charges that she is currently facing in district court. Ruby's attorney, Lamar Winwood, said we agree. The judge then dropped the speeding infraction against Frankie. Regarding Frankie and Jody Hildebrandt's child abuse charges, no new court dates have been set now i did not think okay so my question in regards to that is why did the city get involved the city is not involved with the child abuse charges the city is not involved with um the charges against jody for copyright infringement 
why is the city stepping in? Is this another example of LDS church influence? Of rubbing elbows between organizations? Because that's pretty gross. Why was the city in there negotiating a speeding ticket for Ruby Frankie? That's, in my mind, uh, bizarre. I don't think if, you know, I was under some sort of severe legal troubles that the city of Aliso Viejo would step in for me. I, I'm, I'm very curious about how that, that happened. Why was the city involved? The city of Ivans? Oh, she got the speeding ticket down by Jody, right? She must have gotten the speeding ticket down by Jody. Oh, I have to get there so fast, Jody. Wow. 35 mile per hour zone and she was driving 50, y'all. That's reckless driving. I don't think they should have just let her off the hook for that. It's a minor fine and, um, tra well, I don't know. It might, if it was reckless driving, it might be more serious. But um, I don't think that they should have let her off the hook for that. That's, um, that's just another um, example of corruption in Utah. Shame on you guys.